Okay. It hasn't passed yet, and it's it, 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 it's in it's in the political world. For it, it, it's in the political world. This is for QE3 where they're going to trade assets in the house because that's still one of the biggest problems. Because you know the Fed, the Fed is talking about you know, the of easing. It's a huge, huge, huge mistake on any level. But uh, so okay, so this is what they're going to target again. They already targeted in QE1 and toxic assets. QE2, it was all about bond yields. Now we're going back to bond yields. Yeah, now we're going back to government financing. It, 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 now this isn't this isn't approved yet. It hasn't been passed yet. It's just it's one of the things that is. We don't, it's, we don't need heart if we if we actually get down to what you're talking about with the one percent. If we actually let the banks that did fuck up fail, we wouldn't have this fuck problem. Okay. Instead, we bailed them out instead of letting capitalism punish them for being idiots. Uh, 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 so we have to make up and use socialism and government to, to put further band-aids on, on policies that socialism and government created in the beginning with. So. Well, there, okay, there's two sides to the HARP thing. I have mixed feelings about HARP. So what, what, what the HARP program is about is saying... You signed a mortgage, and I, again, I have mixed feelings about this. It's saying you signed a mortgage that say six percent. Uh, the current mortgage rates available are less than four percent with good credit. So it's saying your house is worth half what you paid for it. So you're upside down on your house, sure. right? You're but right. you're making your payments, but. If we could figure out a way to let you refinance, you could reduce your payments by reducing your interest rate and signing a 15-year fixed as opposed to a 30-year flex. And you, you, you basically you take. That's interesting. You said 15-year fix, but no 30-year fix. Interesting. Uh, no, it's, it's there's going to be 30s available, but basically one of the things they're doing with Harp Two is they're strongly encouraging. What, what about an inline fix? Let's say that they've paid 10 years on it. Why not? Why not an inline fix? Uh, as far as I know, that's not going to be available under the program. This is basically to try and make Freddie and... And that's the other thing. HARP, HARP would only apply, and HARP, the same with HARP 2.0, to Freddie and Fannie Mae mortgages. <laughs> Everybody else, you're fucked. <laughs> um, but the, the idea there... Uh, but, this is boring because this is government band-aids on top of other government band <laughs> Seriously, this, this shit should not ha occur. They should, the bank should have been allowed to be on their own, and I guarantee you, a lot of them that were too big to fail would have found other means than government creating stupid-ass policies now that we need more band-aids on to make the fucking policies. And you wouldn't have any freaking uh, this Occupy Wall Street because those that in the banking industry that fucked up would have been punished. End of story. <laughs> so I take it you're against the... Uh, basically what, what HARP comes down to is the idea of you owe 270... You not shift the amount... Okay, do you, you know what they're doing? Oh, they're, I know. They're either, they're, either, they're, either, they're either compounding the amount of interest that gets paid on... In other words, they're they're making your your mic your, your your micro payment seem reasonable, but you're paying a lot more in the long run. No, no, that that's not. No, they're doing something far more interesting, more so. Whoa, 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 whoa! But if they go to thirty, that's exactly what they're doing. Instead of inline mortgages, that's exactly what they're doing. On the fifteen-year mortgages, that's paying up front. That's just saying we get the cash right now, essentially, and we can get rid of the toxic assets more rapidly than we would a thirty. No one's going to go for a 15. If someone's in foreclosure already and they can't afford anything, they're not if going they're to If they're in foreclosure, they don't qualify. Exactly. They can't. They're, this is helping no one unless they have the means to pay. When you're, If you're going to absorb that high of a monthly payment with, with lower interest, be, go at it. But that's not solving the economic problem. But those that are in, 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 in foreclosure, there's no, there's no effing way in this galaxy, in this universe... These people are going to, like, hoodwink people 
into believing this shit. I mean, it's utter rubbish. They're going to entertain. Oh no! See, that, 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 that's the thing. There's people who want to, who mistakenly think that hard would help people in foreclosure. No, you have to be three months current to even qualify for hard. You have to have a mortgage that originated through Freddie Mae or Fannie Mac. You have to be what basically what they're changing with HARP 2.0 is why HARP 1.0 failed, and that is the fact because a lot of the houses are worth half what they were. So you bought it for three hundred thousand, you paid ten percent down, it and now it's worth one hundred and fifty thousand. You've been paying on it for three years, so you're ridiculously upside down. That's why you can't refinance because the maximum value of the house is worth less than the amount you need to refinance at a lower interest rate, uh, than the, the, the amount of the principal you need to refinance, and you don't have $80,000 to $150,000 in the bank to make the refinancing go through. What they're proposing with HARP 2.0 is the government will go, bank, underwrite this loan, we will accept the liability for the difference between the value of the asset and the value of the note you're underwriting. So if the if the note goes into default, Uncle Sam is responsible for the difference, which means yeah, which which means at the end of the day, all of us are responsible for the loans. Uh, at the end of the day, uh, and now that's only if they go into default, but and that's why it's strict purely to people who are making their payments. <laughs> They're desperately trying to find ways of, of, of paying for the toxic assets. Repackaging is probably the best way of fooling people. Hey, your monthly payment will just be, be this low. Don't tell them how much they're really going to pay in the end. Uh, <laughs> you know, the, I, 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 I never understood that, but I have realized something. The average person doesn't do that math in their head. I, it, it took me a while to get that. When I hear interest rate X payments... Man, Marcel and Rusty, just shut up, man. I can pay $20 a month, and I don't care if I have to do it for 30 years. Yeah, I, I know, but I look you at that and... You can't right now. Uh, uh, no. I, you know what would have happened? We should have just let your banks fail. You would have still kept your house because who the hell is going to underwrite it anyway? Someone's going to buy it from you, take over the mortgage you already had it, that is a solvent bank, and we're going to negotiate with you or take the current term that you have because... The terms are already approved by a current loan officer anyway. From when you were in, you can just do an inline term basis anyway. What's going to happen? The bank fails, and what the hell? Your house is going to vaporize like some Star Trek ship is going to beam it up. What the fuck are they talking about? It's going to stay there. You're going to be in your damn house. If there's an underwriter there, it's going to be able to back the rest of the difference of the mortgage. It will happen by a solvent bank. It would happen in line in the story. Instead, what do we have? Band aids, more interest. People that normally can't afford something paying way more in a pocket in the long run than they should. It's all a fraud. It's totally nonsense bullshit. Nice. <laughs>